Christy, the approval for this was given a long time ago, although it paused because of the pandemic. Now, though, the lights are back on for one of the early initiatives in Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh's first term. I talked with the city's just appointed first ever street lighting manager about this bright spot in the Syracuse surge. What this could possibly lead the city to, I think the possibilities are endless. The pandemic paused it for weeks, but crews are back out again, changing the rest of the city's approximately 17,400 lights to new LED smart lights, including the ornamental ones in Armory and Franklin Square this week. Those will stay decorative, just get, well, smarter. We're talking about an opportunity uh, not only to light our streets, our right-of-ways, uh, dim them, increase lighting, but also with uh, the installation of the new nodes that are being put on these street lights, the communication that can be done uh, it is endless. The city had already replaced about 14,000 of the lights like these on Geddes Street before the pandemic hit. They're not remarkable in style, but with the little smart nodes attached on top of these LEDs, they become amazing. But is there a way to read the amount of cars that go through between, say, midnight and 6 a.m.? If it's a very uh, small amount, do we need those at 100 percent? Do we drop them down to 80 percent? And the savings the city will make on that is huge. Towsley says that's just scratching the surface. There's the possibility these nodes could one day be used for a broadband system, driverless cars, and more. There's that fourth industrial revolution that we're talking about that I think is, is huge for the city of Syracuse. Now, Towsley says the goal is to have every light changed over by late summer, early fall. He also says with the technology and the fact the city now owns all of these lights, they'll be able to respond much quicker to any problems.